RFA family, and welcome to The Source. I'm your host today. My name is Leisha. And I'm Lauren, and so nice to have you guys joining us today. Oh, yeah. So, I have been reflecting as of late due to certain things that are taking place in the world mm -hmm. on a little bit about quarantine and COVID-19 and just how much life has changed. Oh, absolutely. I mean, it's pretty drastic. Along the way, <laughs> as it seems like this keeps going on and on and on, I have come across a number of funny incidents that have taken place. <laughs> I don't know if you've experienced that. Oh, absolutely. Oh, please do share. Well, for one thing, um, being quarantined in your house, you come up with a lot of random hobbies, right? And so my sister-in-law and I decided that we were going to be bakers like on the Great British Baking Show. Love it. And we tried to make a very complicated Victorian sponge, and we didn't have the right flour, apparently, or the oh. right cake tin, but we were going to make it happen anyway. Um, it was, Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and it was concave when it came out of the oven, so we were like, we're not great British bakers. Oh. But it was still really fun to try to make something with her. Oh, boy. <laughs> I, too, have tried my hand at baking quite a lot during this quarantine. I haven't had as many flops. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that wasn't the only one. I'm not trying to go British, necessarily, but, yeah, that's very fun. Well, what about you? What's unique about your quarantine? Oh, boy, for me. Um, well, let's, for one, address the fact that out of all the things you can do in quarantine, I probably did one of the wildest, which was get a dog. Oh my. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so fun fact about me, guys. I have a dog. Her name is Willow. She is a German Shepherd, and she is just on the brink of six months old. Super cute. Um, however, why did I get a dog during quarantine? Uh, I'm sure the training took a lot of your time. Oh, so. <laughs> yes, it did. And along the way, we had tons of accidents inside, broken objects, <laughs> a lot of eaten up chew toys. It was great. It was great. I'm I'll sure it was entertaining. So. Oh, yeah. Worth it. But For she's so worth it. <laughs> <Awesome>. <laughs> Have you ever heard those memes where it's like, Oh, marriage is crazy, and like sometimes I just want to, uh, 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 but it's so worth it. You should get married. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I feel about having a there dog. There we go. So, Being a you guys, man. this is going on for a long time and well into the summer. So, oh if yeah. you haven't got a dog yet, you get might want to look into it. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have a guest today. That's we right. We are joined by Pastor Aaron, and we would also like to hear if he has some interesting quarantine stories oh to yeah. share with us. Oh, well, uh, Thanks for having me. I'm glad I could pencil you guys in. Oh, uh, thank you, you know, thank you. I have a few more minutes before I got to get out to my next uh, thing that's going on. But um, no, let's see. Interesting quarantine stories. You know, I, I have to be honest. I haven't really um, been stuck to the house during this time. In fact, probably everything I've done is ramped up to another level. So I know I'm always out and still doing things. You know, the family definitely is staying at the house as much as possible. Um, so when I get home, it's always like, Ah, we want to do stuff. We want to do oh, stuff. Yeah. Like, I just want to sleep. Um, oh, my. But it doesn't happen. But, you know, we had a new daughter. Um, we had our mm -hmm. fourth, Maisie. I was born oh. during this time. And, um, you know, it was a little different then. You know, we went to the hospital. You had certain things they wanted you to do. and um, But we were just like, let's get out of here as fast as possible. So <laughs> I give credit to Liz because, you know, in just 24 hours, we were out of the hospital. Wow. Back home. That is incredible. What a trooper. Just doing everything. So our fourth little girl has been going great. Um yeah, I don't have a lot of crazy stories. I haven't, you know, except just getting busier, um, mm -hmm. you know, here yeah. at the church and just other things. So but, tell um, us a little bit about how the role has shifted. I know it's probably a lot more responsibility during such a time where everyone's being kind of tailored and yeah. we're transitioning to virtual church more than oh, in-person yeah. church. I'm sure that was quite a shift for your team. Yeah, I think, um, you know, with our team, you know, we have a really great team and, um, you know, we really weren't ready. We were we we're getting ready towards the end of this year to really like launch a live stream worship and just those kind of things. And it mm -hmm. kind of got to a point where we saw this happening. And I talked with uh, Ross. You'll have to have Ross on the show. He can tell you a little more details of all that's <laughs> been going on um, here in the future. But, um, you know, we got together and we said, we got to get ready for this. You know, we don't know what it's going to sound like. We don't know what it's going to be like, but we got to yeah. get ready. And, and sure enough, it's like two weeks later, we were launching, um, you know, worship. You know, Ross really 
nailed it out of the park, you know, hit it out of the park and, and got it ready. And uh, we just continue to grow and see that, um, you know, it is a time that some people are afraid to come back into the church and want to watch online. And so we want to give that opportunity. In no way do we think this replaces being here on campus. Oh, yeah. You know, you can't replace yeah. that. So that's not our goal. But our goal is to push out the message that we have. You know, we believe in Pastor Chad's message and, and that we're just really Christ-centered. And um, so we want to get that out to as many people as we can, you know, because, you know, we do believe the time is coming. Jesus will be back soon, and we want Absolutely. everyone Thanks to hear his, his gospel. So um, so it's been great. It's been crazy. It feels like it's been two years since we started doing this, and we just can <laughs> keep going and going with Fox and just all these kind of things. But it's really only been three or four months, and um, God's just been faithful in everything. That's that. awesome. That's awesome. Because during a time of uncertainty, we can definitely think that – things are not going our way or that um, this isn't the Lord's plan. Um, but at the same time, it's been so encouraging to hear that, like, even during this pandemic, during times of uncertainty and the unknown, um, God has grown our church in different ways, and we've stretched and grown our teams to be ready for live stream worship and Fox 50. Like, who would have ever oh, thought yeah. that would come in, into play? But, like, the Lord's getting the message out even during this time, which is so encouraging. I agree. And I think, you know, no matter where you are currently, the beauty about the situation that globally we're all brought into is that God is bringing the gospel message to everyone's front door. Everyone has this margin of opportunity mm -hmm. to just reach out and like embrace the fact that, yeah, we're in a iffy time and things look a little uncertain depending on where your faith lies. But God is still good and he's still working through that. Mm -hmm. And that's so empowering in so many different ways. And I just, I just want to personally encourage you guys, uh, definitely go out of your way to love your neighbor as yourself. You have no idea how much that could just brighten someone's day. Mm -hmm. It's already a trying time. It's already kind of like, uh. <laughs> right. Just, People need you know, some kindness sprinkled in along oh the way, right? Yeah. Sprinkles of kindness. <laughs> We're gonna trademark that. <laughs> I love it. So thank you so much, Pastor Aaron, for joining yeah, us and yeah, telling us a little you. bit about how our church is That's growing it. during this time. Yeah, and I definitely, you know, I I will say I've I'm a little ashamed to admit it, but I have watched almost every season of the British British baking show. <laughs> uh, Liz, always, awesome. Liz always has it on. I'm like, what is this mess? And then I find myself like, who won? Who won? <laughs> oh my god. What is it, cookie? Did they do it right? You know, so um, I haven't tried it's to bake yet, but uh, sure. maybe one day. We'll see. Oh so. gosh, but thanks, guys. I really that. appreciate it. Yeah, thank, thank you so much. <laughs> All right. And we wanted to tell you guys just a little bit more of what's going on at RFA during this time. So if you are watching the live stream and are not coming into campus, there are still ways that you can get involved with what we're doing here and also expand the gospel message like we've been talking about. Um, so one of the ways is to support our forward fund. I'm so excited to announce that we're since we're halfway through the year, we've already raised $163,000 for our forward fund for different missions projects around the world, like scholarships for people who want to go to Bible college in Albania or um, church plants in unreached yeah. areas of the world. Like, it's so exciting to see what God is doing around the globe with our generous funds. Um, so if there's not a way for you to go on a mission trip because of the travel bans and like it's a little unsafe during this time and yeah. a lot of trips have been canceled you can at least donate to the forward fund and still be a part of what god is doing globally oh yeah and as far as locally again we are in the business of providing a network we are a mission sending base so mm -hmm. with rfa's forefront mission it is to get you all plugged in and if you haven't been able to come in and get connected we still have online church services we are trying to establish a pool here where you can just come in and get plugged in with things that are taking place at rfa church and on top of that we have been blessed during this quarantine to actually present the gospel message via television so this weekend we will be on cozy tv However, regularly, we have been on Fox 50, which has been phenomenal. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. 
So if you guys have the chance, we would love for you to share your live stream on social media or uh, share with a friend that you can watch on Cozy TV this weekend or Fox 50 in the future uh, to see our sermons because that's a great way to sprinkle some kindness to the oh people yes. that are in your life and under your influence. <laughs> well, I think that's about it for us, guys. It sure is. Um, don't forget, tomorrow, yes, is in Saturday at 9 a.m., you have basics if you signed up. And if you miss signing up this go around, be on a lookout on our social media because I'm sure you will find it there. And if you're ever curious about anything RFA Church, please visit rfa.family. Well, we'll see you all next week. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.